everybody, this is Freddy with Freddy Can Fly, and in today's video, we are going to continue on the series for the X Glow Pro um, Glow Start Igniter. In the previous segment, uh, we left off with the basic out of the box configuration A setup, okay? And that basically involved getting the unit out, um, attaching the ground to some part of the back plate of the motor, and then getting your glow part out. Again, I demonstrated um, how the glow plug works with it, you know, uninstalled just by contacting the case and everything. So that was configuration A. At that time, we did use a separate pack to power everything. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at my favorite feature, which is configuration B. And this is going to allow us to use a simple switch, either a two-part or a three-part switch from our transmitter to do a hands-free glow, basically, and I freaking love this. Uh, you guys might be familiar with some other products out there, such as like Switch Glow and things like that. Um, it's a little bit more of a bulky unit. It has a little bit more uh, kind of going on. It is a great unit. Again, I'm not product, uh, product bias at any time. But this, so simple, I absolutely love it, especially for the price point. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get started. What you're going to need now... Uh, first, if you haven't watched Configuration A, go ahead and watch that. Um, if you've already watched it and you're up to speed here, um, you're going to want to get out your transmitter. Now, if you are up to date with your helicopters and you're running a fly barless system, not a fly barred with a receiver or anything like that, uh, you're going to want to make sure first that your fly barless system is bound to your transmitter. I'm using Spectrum. Um, and you're going to want to make sure certain parameters are set up in your transmitter. I'm going to demonstrate that for you. But also, since there's so many different fly barless systems available today, I can't really demonstrate to you how to configure the channel assignments in each system. However, it should be fairly straightforward um, once we go through this whole initial setup, okay? So just be prepared for that. Make sure that you do the, the work to get your transmitter uh, pre-set up. I'm going to show you that. Make sure it's bound uh, and make sure we're ready, okay? So we're going to go from uh, configuration A to configuration B. First thing we need is transmitter. Second thing we need is our, our control system. So I've got my fly barless unit here. I'm using the Spirit 2. I've got my dorky little antennas hanging off. Again, it'll look cleaner once it's in the model. But um, I've already got them pre-bound and I went into my system and assigned all my... Uh, my channels and everything accordingly so that this will work okay so I'm gonna set this just over here to the side and then you're gonna need a power patch cable and it needs to be a three wire pin so you need to have the positive negative and signal wire okay this one's a little short but for demonstration purposes I'm gonna use it I might get one at a longer length it all depends on how I mount everything into my machine and then, again, just for all intensive purposes, I'm just going to use a two-cell pack to power the system. Again, if, if, if you were uh, having everything installed and you're using a BEC or whatever, you would power that up and plug it in. But I'm just going to be using my little two-cell, okay? So here's our general construction. Um, it looks a little bit on the messy side. We kind of got some stuff going everywhere. So we'll get this cleaned up a little bit. But first, I want to take a look over at the manual to see what we're going to try to attempt to accomplish. Um, and then we'll take a look at the radio, we'll get everything plugged in, and we'll ignite some glow plugs, okay? So, jump over to the manual here real fast. Um, you'll see here, uh, we're, of course, we're still rocking the glow, uh, glow, uh, X Glow Pro. And then, it's hard to, to not say Glow Pro or Switch Glow, it's, it's really weird. Um, we're on configuration B here. Now, this one will allow us to ignite, and also, um, it allows us, if you're using a three-part switch, we can toggle on... Um, like a siren, like a sound. Like let's say you crashed your model or something and you couldn't see it or find it. You could toggle a switch and it'll, it'll throw off an alert for you to find it. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so here we go. Guys, all we really need to do like we just discussed and per the manual, this part here should already be completed. We're grounded. We're plugged into the glow plug. We've got our system here. So really all we're doing in configuration B is providing the power patch cable Please pay attention to the orientation of your pins. That is important. They may not necessarily match up, you know, identical to the same orientation as your fly barless unit, right? So make sure signal is signal, positive, positive, negative, negative. Make sure your fly barless control system is bound and your channels are assigned. 
And it's that easy, guys. I mean, from there, it's basically just giving us the, the options, right, for your three-part switch. You've got your locator buzzer, um, glow ignite on, glow ignite off. Two, two position switch, it's just on or off. And then, of course, um, you can always go into the programming configuration to change the duration of your glow ignite, the power consumption, uh, things of that nature. But I'm not going to worry about any of that until we get into the, the configurations C and D because they're a little more advanced, okay? So that, honestly, guys, is all we really need to know about configuration B to make this work. So jump back over to the bench real quick. And I want to take a, look, a brief look at the at the the transmitter setup that I'm using. Okay, so I'm using Spectrum, guys. So if you're using anything other than that, just try to translate what I'm doing into your radio's specifics, right? Your your menus and your channel assignments and what have you. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a power up here. This is how easy the the X Glow Pro is to set up, guys, for switch switch select. I mean, it's it's literally this easy. Okay, so. I'm jumping into my, my spectrum screen here, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so I can kind of get you guys in on this, I'm going to scroll down to where we find channel assign, okay, you can see that I've got that highlighted right there, okay, enter into channel assign, now you will notice you first have menu A, which is our export assignments, okay, Study this real quick. Everything basically equals its counterpart, right? Um, rudder, rudder, you gain, or I'm sorry, you've got like throttle, throttle, aileron, aileron, elevator, elevator. Um, gear is always, you're going to want to have that as gyro, but that's also going to be depending upon your specific flight barless instructions, but that's mine. But what we're paying attention to you in my case, since I'm rocking a DX7, I've got seven channels. Um, I want to pay attention to my auxiliary 2. So in my port assignments, auxiliary 2 needs to equal auxiliary 2. Pretty simple and basic. And then if I come down here to the corner and hit my next screen on the bottom right, it brings me over to channel input configuration. Now this will allow me to assign the switch that I want to drive my glow. And you'll notice mine is assigned to switch C. What you can actually do is just highlight this and toggle whichever switch you want, and it'll automatically assign it. So my switch C is actually right up here by my uh, my idle up switch, because when I fly, I'm a, I'm a pincher like this, and I use this one here for throttle hold, and then I use this finger here for my idle ups. So I figure, hey man, when I'm getting ready to drive my glow, I can just go like this, right? I can use this button here. So. Or for an emergency, right, if I'm going to hit an auto, I can just double tag my switches and get the alarm sounding while I'm autoing. That'd be kind of a fun gimmick, right? Um, but so anyways, make sure that that's assigned to the, the proper switch that you wish to use. And honestly, guys, that is it. Uh, let me double, triple check. There's nothing else, but I believe that's it. Let's see. Trim setup, yada, 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 yada. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So we're done there. Now, the next thing that we want to check is to make sure that the switch is um, moving in the right orientation. So basically, does it need to be reversed or not? For that, um, I'm in my 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 main screen here, and I'm simply just gonna you know enter into my programmable options, and I'm gonna scroll all the way down to monitor. Now you'll notice here monitor on the far left side where we've got our auxiliary two. Okay. Um, if I toggle my switch, I want to pay attention to where that toggle is at in conjunction with my switch. So, what I mean by that is, is, is I want my, my highest position to be off. No, no glow, no buzzer, right? I want my midpoint to be my buzzer, and I want switch all the way down to be glow on. So, basically, when you look at the monitor, switch off should say negative 100. Buzzer indicator should say zero and glow ignition should read 100, right? So you're going 100, zero, negative 100. Or vice versa. Now, if you need to change that, simply go up to the top to your servo setup. And once you enter servo setup, you'll just uh, highlight your travel limit and scroll it right over to reverse. And then just reverse aux too, which you can, you can see that that's what I had to do to, in order to achieve my desired effect, right? So. It's that easy, guys. So now the radio is set up, and we should be ready to start driving some glow. Um, 
again, I'm gonna I'm gonna stress the importance though. You have to make sure in order for this to work. So if you're a Spirit 2 user, I'll give you guys a quick heads up. Instead of making a whole other lengthy video about it, what I had to do, which this is probably what you're going to have to do uh, in conjunction with whatever system you're using, V-Bar or, 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 or Beast X or just whatever it is you're, you're rocking on your machine. I had to actually boot up my, my programming system for this since it's PC-based. Um... And I had to go in and unassign my channel 7 from a bank switch. And I had to do um, a reassign for an aux 2 output. And then assign it to that switch. So now my Fly Barla system reads that when I toggle that aux 2 channel, it's now a three-part switch. And it's going to send power from there over to the, X, uh, the X-Glow Pro. Otherwise, I couldn't get it to work. So uh, the, the Spirit 2 has a spot where you go into the program and you literally click on channels and you can do custom assigns. Every other system is going to be a little bit different, guys. So just, just try to translate that the best you can. So let's get everything plugged in real quick so we can play around. Um, I'm going to move my motor kind of over here a little bit. And so all we're going to do, guys, is again, paying close attention to orientation of your wires. Make sure negative is negative positive and signal plugged in there now I've assigned mine to my auxiliary 2 on my spirit 2 um, again make sure you guys just plug your stuff in accordingly and now what I'm gonna do sorry there's a lot of wires so I'm, I'm trying my best to, to let's get a little bit of an actual zoom in maybe it'll be easier for you guys to kind of read this here so what I'm going to do now is simply provide power, make sure that everything boots up on the system um, correctly, and let's see how everything works, okay? So I'm coming over here. Got my power. I'm going to wait, let everything boot up. I'm not going to disturb my system for a quick moment, let it kind of do its little song and dance, assuming I had, you know, servos and all that fun stuff going on. Okay, so now you're going to notice a couple of changes that have been made now to the X Glow. So it's still doing that, that little tone every couple seconds which tells you the system is armed and it's on. But now that we have a channel input and a signal receiving, um, you'll notice that there is now a yellow LED indicator on there. Whereas beforehand there was only blue. Let's get in about right there, okay? So you can see we've got the yellow LED now. That's actually telling me the position of the switch um, signal that it's receiving from the auxiliary 2 port. Yellow, it's telling me it's off. Okay. Um, if I go ahead and throw my switch into the center position, you'll notice... That's my buzzer locator. If I turn it off, I'm right back to the yellow. Now... Um, as we discussed in the previous video, guys, if you haven't watched it, go check it out. But if, if you're having an issue with your glow system, it also has that failsafe where it won't ignite the plug. So I can still push this button at any time. My glow plug at this, at this time is not contacting the case, right? So I'm going to go ahead and try to drive a glow. I get the error. Now, if I want to use my switch, it's going to do the same thing now. Look. It won't drive the glow. There's off, here's on. And buzzer locator. And off, okay? So, how easy and how friggin' cool is that, guys? I think that's the, the neatest little feature. So let's actually do it and let's drive us a glow and let's see, let's see how it does, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, and, as always, guys, I'm gonna contact the case here. And just to let everyone at the field know that I'm awesome, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my buzzer on. I'm going to get my starter out, and we're going to drive our glow. How cool is that? Turn it off. Sorry, guys, it, it, it's skipping out a little bit on me only because um, I keep uncontacting it from the case. Let's see if we can get us a little bit of a better one here. Let's, let's really hold it on there like this. All right, so here we go. We're going to throw a buzzer on. Move my hand out of the way. Make sure you can see the glow plug. We'll throw buzzer on. And ignite. Boom. And then once your model starts, go ahead and just power down your glow, guys. Um, 
I mean, it's it's literally, it is that easy and that simple to, ooh, that's hot. It's that easy and that simple to do, guys. So now you have a, um, a setup where you can manually ignite your glow. There's no way to manually turn on the buzz locator um, that I'm aware of as of yet. Um, but simply just altering your channel configuration, uh, spectrum radio, and then making sure that you assign the correct port configuration as well, if I borrow the system. Uh, five minutes tops. I mean, five, five to ten minutes tops. This thing comes right out of the packaging, installed, you're driving glows, and you're out flying. And I think being able to use your radio switch right here is just, I mean, it's so cool. Because if you've been a Nitro guy like me the most of my life, using those little handheld things, it works. I'm not going to say anything negative about it, but it's kind of a hassle. I mean, it's not that big a deal, but hey, we live in a more modern world now where pretty soon, guys, you're going to be able to ignite your glow plug just from your cell phone, which that seems a bit excessive, but hey, I mean, I think, I think that'd be a pretty cool thing. Um, but there we go, guys. That is going to be the Configuration B on the X-Glow Pro. That's going to be how to assign it to the switch ports and everything on your radio and get everything working. Um, as always, stay tuned for the next part of the series. We're going to do um, Configuration C configuration D and I'm sure we'll probably talk throughout those a little bit more about um, how to enter and exit some of the programming and stuff basically we're looking at this same configuration but now using some of the optional wires for the anti-chicken dance and the and the um, the avoiding the hot starts and things like that so um, as always guys feel free to comment and or subscribe thank you so much for supporting the channel and remember my friends if Freddie can fly so can you